This whole process is called fission, and it's basically the engine of the entire nuclear age. The best way to picture it is like a cascade of cosmic dominoes. You start things off by shooting one tiny neutron at a big wobbly atom like uranium-235. That atom splits in two, releasing a burst of energy. But, and this is the critical part, step three, it also spits out a few more neutrons. Those new neutrons then fly off and smash into other uranium atoms, which also split, releasing even more energy and even more neutrons, and on and on and on. It's a chain reaction that escalates in a fraction of a second. And what's crazy is how fast all this happened. The idea went from just a concept in Leo Szilard's head in 1933 to something so real and so terrifying that he got Einstein to co-sign a letter warning the President of the United States about it. And then, just three years after that letter, a team led by Enrico Fermi in Chicago actually did it. In a secret lab, literally under a football stadium, they built this pile of uranium and graphite and created the world's very first controlled nuclear reaction. Humanity suddenly had a switch to turn atomic power on and off.